Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you how to model a perforated aluminum or perforated metal steel in Revit. Okay, when it comes to talking about how to model a perforated aluminum, most of Revit user or student they are likely to using texture to apply that because it easier and faster and the important thing the file is not too heavy when it comes to model that and in some case they want to model those kind of realistic perforated aluminum they will likely prefer to using a dynamo but today in the tutorial we are working beyond on that I'm going to using our existing tool to model that and for this tutorial is for those people or for those students they don't know how to use a dynamo and they still struggling and still want to make a realistic perforous aluminum so the tutorial is for you okay so i think now let's start to model together as you can see here i am in revis architecture template so what i'm going to do now in order to make our perforated aluminum faster and make it a parametric i mean a parametric not a parametric about the hole because we will manually to create that but is a parametric pattern so first thing i'm going to create a few floor first because i want to create this kind of facade so i'm going to our architecture tool then go to our floor over there just like our existing floor then i can start to reaching out to model i will make it like this i think we just make it for two four meter i think four meter and the depth here i will make it for 10 meter like this hit let's get a couple of time one i done that i just hit finish up and now i want to duplicate to another floor you need to go to your project browser over there then go to your sound elevation and the faster way you need to array that just like your level two then ar for shortcut key then i will make every floor about four meter just tie it out for four meter and i will tie it out for five because i will make it until level six hit escape a couple of times as you can see here now our rusi is is it on level six now i think we go back to our level one again so like my existing floor go to copy to clipboard over there pass and align to the level and start from level 2 until level 6 then it's okay hit escape a couple of time i want to create a more interesting a bit before we create our perforated aluminium but if you don't know if you don't want to create that you can skip a couple of minutes to through way to our tutorial to make our perforated aluminium i need to go to our work there then i will using for storefront to make that just simply pick here pick it like this hit us get a couple of time go to our sound elevation then i'm going to adjustment it just make it until top and here we are adjustment until here also okay i think it's perfectly go back to my level one again then i can go to my massing and size in plus mass mass one because we need to create our mass environment first before we apply in our pattern go to our pick line and of course i will offset that about let's offset at for 400 millimeter like this hit us get a couple of time go back to my sound elevation again i'm going to select here again then create form select form i will drag up until top here like this and for the bottom one i will start from level two just make it like this again with like our surface here then the white surface and i will check our layout to from foot number to foot distance and make it for one meter is apply and another guy over there let me see first here it's a wig reel we change it to foot distance and make it for one meter as well it's open it's apply as you can see here now our line is perfectly it's time to model our perforated i'm going to our file as away when we want to create our family we need to go there go to new then go to our family go to english for metric 
and I'm going to find the using for metric template pattern best. Uh, basically, you can use adaptive component also, but in the case, I prefer you this one because we got existing for point adaptive is the accuracy. I can select here again, then I will adjustment it same as my panel inside my Revit architecture template. Just make it one meter by one meter, then it's apply. Once I done that, I can select my panel over there, then just create form, solid form, and I will make it for thickness. And we just adjustment here, I will make it for two millimeter sorry or uh, just make it for two hit escape a couple of time one i done that i can start from top view over there then go to our model just model for rectangle sorry for circle i just simply make it for 20 hit escape then i'm going to move it up just move it to here and again i'm going to move it again move it for 20 and move it down for another 20 and go to our create forms create void form and start from right side over there i will drag it down like this make sure everything is cutting let me see okay so now everything is cutting and here you can manually to create that i will start to manually to model that uh, the first thing is you can is you know how to use a dynamo or uh, try to avoid this way but in the tutorial i prefer for those people who didn't know how to using dynamo this course is for you but you need to take some time to model that but not much once you create your pattern everything is perfectly so i can copy that just copy it and make it for 40 60 i think like this then hit escape then can select this guy over there then copy make sure you turn on for multiple selection i just copy like this so from there i will copy until what i want Okay, so here you need to copy again, multiple copy, CO for copy again. Then I'm going to skip it for as fast as can. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross up the ones who help my cry. Okay, so now we done our copy RD. So in some case here, I want to adjustment here because here is until here already. I just like here one, then simply start like this. Sorry. Select here again, then hold control key to select another, just make it like this. Then I will unselect this one, unselect here as well, then I can delete up. Okay, so once I done that, I can sell for our first family panel, and for the second panel, I will rewrite that and make uh, some hole is closed. So I'm going to our file over there. Then I'm going to sell, sell as, sell as family, and make this to our desktop. Just make it for perforate full hole like this. I will make it like this. It's okay. Then once I done sell that, I need to load into our project. I just load into our project here. Then I can hit escape first. Then I'm going back to my 3D over there. I want to adjustment it. I just make it like this, like one of them like this to activate another hole there. Then I can simply hold control key. Then I can simply delete it like this. It's a random selection because I want to make my design more interesting a bit. That's why I need to make it like this. 
uh, I think we add another here then I can delete it okay now I think it's better a lot that I'm going to sell again go to file then sell as I'm going to sell for family again make it for uh, zero one then we can load into our project and close because now we are nothing to do with our family you can straight away load in and close our project over there okay so once we done that we can go to our 3d here over there and i can simply start like our panel here like this then just change our property panel to our perforate full hole so one is like that part will be regenerating and make our parametric pattern for portfolio and of course later on i can adjustment that by using our family tool hit escape a couple of time as you can see here now we got our real estate already but i want to adjustment my panel there because i don't want all my panel here is a hole so i can start from front view over there like this then just zoom in then i can select one by one like this hit a tab key I just hit a tab key again then hold control key we will simply make it more interesting like this because here is a manually plan We don't worry about the error message because our side panel is same, it's the same as our family one. So I can straight away go to our property, then change it to our perforate full hole zero one. So far we be regenerate again. And of course, if you want to apply for material, make sure you apply into your uh, mass environment or pattern environment before you load into our project then i can hit escape a couple of time as you can see here i can hit finish first as you can see here it's quite realistic for that then i can change this one our graphic display option just make it more realistic i will start for shadow and make it for show ambient shadow and cast shadow as well to see the effect when the lighting come here is apply and it's okay as you can see here it's quite realistic for our realistic portfolio but if you want to create a realistic here your pc or your laptop must be a cpu or ram higher because uh, we run your ram or your cpu more heavy if you want to make a realistic like this but my suggestion try to use texture is better a lot because when you are rendering it's uh, can cover already but the tutorial just for some user for student or for architect student or for every user they want to make a realistic portfolio and they didn't know how to use diamond namo okay as you can see here that's how you can model your perforate aluminium uh, for porous metal steel in revit okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish and i hope this tutorial can help you out in some case and thank you guys for watching and if you are first time here and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification and you don't want to miss my future tutorial okay guys thank you again and i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice day thank you